Am I on camera now? Yeah, you're on camera. Uh, my name is Alex Howes. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm the current men's professional U.S. national champion. But you get second in gravel races. If you want to. Okay, so you did the gravel race and Grant beat you. Yeah. Is that embarrassing or you're okay with that? I don't know. We kept uh, we kept the win in the Netherland family. So it worked out fine. Okay, good. We drove down together. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. It's almost collusion, not quite. And yeah, they had arrow bars and what's, what's your opinion of that? Uh, you know, personally I think that if you've ever had or been offered a world tour contract, race the Pro Mountain Bike World Cup, or you won the race that you're at previously, you don't get arrow bars. <laughs> okay, but all the other stuff is get arrow bars. Everybody else, if they want them, you know, that's their choice. The other thing is if, if the event is under under 24 hours. If it's over 24 hours, you can have air marks. So you'll always be at a disadvantage. <laughs> Unless it's over 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. So arrow bars at Leadville are okay? Uh, I mean, not if you've had a World Tour contract or raced a World Tour or, or uh, a Pro XC. Okay. World Cup. So some people break those so, rules. But you wore your Stars and Stripes jersey, that's okay for gravel races? You know, I don't know, is there a national champion for gravel? Not yet, there will be. Yeah, well, when USAC they have one. USAC will get, get on it. When they have one, we can cross that bridge then. Okay. But for now, I figure it's on the road, so. Go ahead, I'll follow you. All right. Sure. You just had a baby. Yeah. That's part of the reason why I was late this morning. <laughs> How is that now with like your sleep and recovery and being gone away from said baby? Yeah, the gone part stuff. Um, I don't know. It's tough because it probably wouldn't be like that if it wasn't for the pandemic. Like my wife and the little one would have been over in Europe. Oh, I was over there. But that wasn't possible this round. Ah, got it. So they were at home. Yeah. So that's tough. So your wife just took care of the doggo and the baby. She's a superwoman. Nice. <laughs> so I was doing some perusing of your Instagram. <laughs> and I saw you doing strength training in your chamois. <laughs> and that got me wondering, are you looking for extra training time, you know, because shammy type is training time. So you're like strength training and shammy. Oh yeah. Or pre-clamming your sham, or what's <laughs> what's the story with the shammy? Oh, uh, you know how it is up here with, in the winter, it's, you end up spending a lot of time on the trainer, even if you do like the fat bike a lot. So, I find the strength training is a good way to like, jump off the trainer for six and a half minutes and Smash out a couple of lifts and okay, nice. Jump back on. And yep. String it all together and call it a productive day, sort of. <laughs> we talked a little bit about the trainer time, and I know you have a whoop. What other technology do you use or do you like for training in athleticism? Um. Uh, yeah, I got the whoop going. What have you learned from it? What's the biggest takeaway? You uh, should just never drink alcohol ever. Yeah. Four <laughs> beers before bed is not yeah. a good idea. No, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> just never drink alcohol ever. You don't have a kid. You don't have a life. Uh, don't look at your phone ever. Ironically, because you have to look at it to know that you're not supposed to look at it. Yes. 
Do you have a power meter on all your bikes? Even no. your fat bike? No, I don't. Okay, good. That's good. Much, much to the frustration of my coach and team. It's funny because like Lachlan and I, I think I, don't, I think they don't know what to do this sometimes because we have like a team database and like we always have pretty good you know training volume but like when it comes to looking at like certain metrics you know like KJ's burned in the month yeah I'll have like 7,000 <laughs> <laughs> like, Which isn't very many. They're like, what, what are you doing, man? <laughs> That's yeah, like two rides. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I did two big days on the road bike and then the rest on the gravel and fat bike and mountain bike. And So what is there, is there anything you wish people knew about you? You know, that you're like, I wish they knew something, something, or everyone in the world should know this to be an athlete or whatever. Well, <laughs> everyone, if they want to be an athlete, at least as far as being a cyclist goes, she wears sunscreen every day. <laughs> <laughs> Going back like to our conversation <laughs> this morning. I definitely do that up here. I do that everywhere. I get a lot of flack from my teammates sometimes. They say it's For cloudy. wearing sunscreen? Yeah, it'd be kind of cloudy and I'm putting sunscreen on. So what SPF to become a super pro national champion? You know, Honestly, I think it's like anything, consistency is key, right? So, I think if you just stick to a good 30, SPF 30, and do it pretty much every day, then you'll be become lot, a pro. You'd be a lot better off than like shooting for the moon with the 80 <laughs> and hating that stuff because it's like putting on clay, staining the jersey. Here, you yeah, hold we, this. We stop if you want. Okay, so we don't crash? Yeah. Second Moderna kicked your butt, huh? Yeah, bad. Dang. It was so bad. The worst body aches I've ever had. Yeah, I've had, yeah, it's like anything. Some people are like, oh, it's terrible. And other people are like, I didn't notice anything. But definitely had some friends that are like, yep. You screwed oh. up having anything planned for that week. <laughs> Dang. All right, I got one more question. And then we okay. can turn around and go back. Sure. So I was perusing Tin Shed. Before yeah. you got there. Yeah, because I was late. We yeah. put that in the interview. That's okay. <laughs> That's what, let the world know. Um, <laughs> I was just not going to say it. I was going to say it. I was late. I was late. I made her wake up early. And I was looking yeah, at I all the... Up late. I was looking at all the jerseys on the wall. And I don't see one of yours. Well, now that my dog bit <laughs> more coffee, <laughs> I might have to give him a jersey. <laughs> So they don't take me to court. <laughs> oh. I, get, I have to give them this one right here. Right on my back when we get the jersey. Uh, uh, I don't know, you know what it's like being a champion. You know how it is. You don't want to be like, you don't want to assume that everyone thinks you're not shit. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I learned a lot about you. <laughs> I get to finally ride with you a little bit. Yeah, same. Want to get out? 14 minutes. I'm gonna sit down and drink a coffee. I didn't even get coffee this morning. What? Yeah. 